is up guys welcome back to the channel this is actually being completely filmed on the Fuji XE4 I wanted to take it out more in a vlogging format and see how this performs simply because I thought maybe I will use this as my main vlogging setup instead of the XS10 we are as you can see in a beautiful location I'm just going to be getting some b-roll oh I can see it kind of hunting for focus there and kind of show you guys the ropes on how this camera performs with uh, more of like a video setup or vlogging setup for that matter it's got I'm gonna use this camera here real quick so you can kind of see how I've rigged this to mount the uh, mic on it because if you mount it directly on the top what ends up happening is you're blocking the screen and you know it's just really helpful to be able to compose your shot and frame it make sure you're in focus and all that jazz so we're just gonna roam around the park have some fun take some video clips maybe take some photos as well and I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride All right, so for those who may be interested in using this uh, for vlogging, I'm gonna give you kind of my rundown on the rig that I have set up right now. So as I showed you before, I'm gonna kind of just expose here. All right, it's a little bit dark on the phone, but you'll kind of get an idea. So I have a little bracket right here, right? And then that is basically a cold shoe uh, for your flash. But what I did here was I mounted the uh, mic, which is the D4 uh, Deity Duo, which also, if you don't know, has a mic on the front and the back. It's super awesome, especially for vlogging. Um, but the reason why I did that was simply so that the mic is not obstructing the top right here, which is the LCD. This makes it just easier for me to frame the shot and not have anything in front of it, basically. So there are a couple of other actual mounts that you could get that just go directly on the bottom of it and just basically move the cold shoe over, um, or in this case, from the tripod mount, move it over, or vice versa, on the top, you can put um, a cold shoe mount that extends it over to the side, but this is kind of all that I had to go with, so I decided to rig it this way. But as you can see, the footage is a little bit shaky, but that is to be um, expected. You know, there's no IBIS in this, so, and the, the footage that you guys, see, guys have seen so far, that's been shot on lenses that uh, don't have uh, optical image stabilization either. So there is some pros and cons to it, but overall, I think the footage looks absolutely amazing. Um, this entire video was shot in 4K 24P. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think it's uh, a lot of bang for the buck, especially at its price point. All right. Now it's time for some food because let's be honest, it really wouldn't be an ace vlog if there were no food involved. So we're gonna grab some food and then I'll probably just end the vlog there. Also, what you're seeing right now is just handheld. And as you can see, it's, it's probably a little shaky, but like I said, there's pros and cons. If you use uh, an optical or uh, stabilized lens, this would look a little bit better, but overall for the small form factor, I still think it's a pretty dope camera. Hey guys, that is gonna wrap up this vlog video. Uh, basically that clip that you guys just saw on the table was recorded all in 4K. Sun was beaming on the camera, had no issues whatsoever with any overheating. Um, so I think it's pretty safe to say that this camera is 
or has a cooling system that is very sufficient for a lot of people's needs so with that said guys that is going to close out this video thanks for watching if you did enjoy it be sure to give it a thumbs up it really does help the channel continue to grow and as always thanks for watching and i will see you all in the next one peace